Here is a female pelvic model. Perineum is the first thing on the list. The perineum is this general region right here. The boundaries are pubic symphysis, anus, or the coccyx, and the um, two ischial tuberosities. So generally a diamond in this area. Um, the vulva are the external reproductive organs, including the um, labia majora, labia minora, clitoris here, and the prepuce of the clitoris. Mons pupus is a fat pad in this region right here under the skin. It actually has a thicker fat pad on the female than on the male. These openings are, here is the opening to the vagina, and here is the opening to the urethra. Here is the pelvic model of the female. We're going to begin down here. Here is the labus majora. Here is the labus minora. And as I move this away, you uh, will be able to see the internal structures. Here we have the um, opening to the vagina. Here is the vagina. We move up here to the um, uh, opening of the uh, cervix. Here is the cervix in this region right here. And then we are into the uh, lumen or the cavity of the uterus. Um, in the uterus we have several layers that we're interested in. One is this red layer right here. This red layer is the endometrium. The myometrium of the uterus is this meat layer here, or muscle layer. Then we have the parametrium, thin layer around the outside of the uterus. We have, if I put this back on, We have the uh, ovary, this yellow structure, structure right here. We have the, let me turn this a little bit. We have the uterine tubes, sometimes called the fallopian tubes. Uterine tubes here. Uterine tubes attached to the uterus, and we're looking at the uterus from the outside here. The Uterine tubes kind of dilate out into what is called the infundibulum of the uterine tubes. And then we have little finger-like projections down in this region that are the fimbri of the uh, infundibulum.